What's the big deal? Just go up and jump. But it's not that easy because it's a super hostile environment. Once he's disconnected from the oxygen system, he's, in, he's on his own at that point. If we had a serious scenario like a suit breach, the loss of pressure integrity of that suit, his skin will boil. Water in your body, in a liquid form, turns to vapor, turns to a gas. Red Bull Stratus is a mission to the edge of space, full of potential dangers and risks for Felix Baumgartner, who will jump from 120,000 feet, an endeavor that will challenge Felix's mental and physical abilities like nothing else ever before, a goal that has seen many before him try and fail, some even paying the ultimate price. So we work from physical side, some really specific training that works the muscles in the way that he's going to use them, getting out of the suit, when the suit's pressurized, how he moves and he aggresses from the capsule. He's been working out uh, his cardiovascular system. He's been working out, you know, in the weight room, lifting a little bit of steel, throwing it around a little bit. Once that pressure's up in that suit, it's like, you know, it's like you're carrying a few extra hundred pounds on your shoulders. You've really got to work to get out of that thing. He's got a lot of physical challenges. But you know what's amazing to me? I mean, the biggest challenge you always face in, in life is not just the challenge of against the physical environment. It's, it's man against himself. Peak physical performance is critical for the success of the mission. Furthermore, Felix has to be on the top of his game mentally to survive within the hostile environment of near space. From the psychological perspective, you know, working on him rehearsing under sort of training stress, some of his routines, giving him the opportunity to practice being focused when things are not completely under his control. As the capsule soars up into the stratosphere, atmospheric pressure continuously drops. After crossing the so-called Armstrong line, an altitude of 62,000 feet, pressure compensation is inevitable for humans to stay alive. Felix's pressure suit is designed to handle this event and protect him from the long-term consequences of altitude sickness. So pressure suits are well known for their advantages, but they're also known for their disadvantages. When you put the whole thing together, the suit on and the helmet on and the visor down, it's also somewhat confining. And if you're in the least bit uh, sensitive to closed space or claustrophobia, it's very upsetting. We were trying to simulate a five-hour test run. And I could feel after an hour, I kind of feel anxious in the suit. And that, that goes fast. So as soon as you, as you feel um, anxious, it starts freaking out in, in just five minutes. And you really feel you have to get out of the suit. Due to the importance of the pressure suit, it was essential for Felix to overcome his paranoia on a psychological level. The idea of, the, you know, of overcoming a phobia, such as claustrophobia in this case, is based on sort of tolerance, building up a tolerance. We brought in Mike Gervais to specifically work on him in that area, and through a you know, very short, basic time frame, we were able to clear that up, and once he realized that that was done, he never looked back. While there is no ambient pressure in the vacuum of near space, the psychological pressure Felix has to cope with at an altitude of 120,000 feet is immense. We want him basically at the end of the day to execute at a really high level on a high stakes environment and basically with the world watching. So when you think about that, that's quite a bit of pressure. With his historically impressive background in base jumping, Felix has proven on a number of occasions to be on top of his game when dealing with extreme, potentially life-threatening situations. Well, Felix has, uh, you know, as a, as a very talented athlete, obviously has reached a level of uh, psychological acceptance of his situation, what he can control, what he can't control. You see that almost a kind of an inner peace and an inner serenity. That's the same thing in all my base jumps, you know, as soon as I'm putting, putting my rig on, that means I'm going for it. Mentally, when I put my, my, my base rig on, I know I'm going. As soon as I step into the capsule and everybody's giving me a go, because the wind is okay, the capsule does the job, and everything looks nice and smooth, you know, um, in my mind, I'm ready. 